Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a bunny gnome. And most of the items that I'm using, in fact, I believe all of them are from the Dollar Tree. So this is really easy um, and simple and, and very inexpensive. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, I have these uh, men's diabetic socks from the Dollar Tree um, and depending on what size you want your gnome. Now, if you want a chubbier, taller gnome, then you'll want to get the men's socks because they are a little bit bigger. Or if you want just a smaller gnome, um, you can use the women's socks. But for mine, I am using the men's uh, diabetic socks. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is, and you're going to need two of them, the first one you are going to just cut right in the middle of the heel and all you're doing is cutting off the top of the sock. Now don't throw this the top away. You're going to want to keep it for, um, we're going to be making arms. So you're going to want to keep the top of the sock for the arms. Um, so next you're going to take your sock and I am just going to be using a half a cup of these beans. And I did get these from the Dollar Tree. Um, it doesn't matter if you want to use beans, if you want to use Epsom salt. Um, it's totally up to you. Whatever you want to use, rice. But I am using beans. So I am just going to be using a half of a cup of the beans. And you're just going to open the sock up. Pour your beans down inside the sock. I can do this without spilling them. And all this is is making a weighted base for your gnome. So once you get your beans in, you're going to take some stuffing. And I am just using some stuffing that I pulled out of an old pillow that um, I was not using. So we're just going to stuff the sock. And you can fill this as full as you want it. Um, but once you get the stock, the sock full, um, as full as you want it, make sure that you do leave a, about a half of an inch of the sock left up at the top so that you can, um, tie a rubber, rubber band around it. So I am just stuffing the sock and this depends on if you want a chubby bunny or chubby gnome. <laughs> Um, I like mine chubby, so I'm probably going to stuff him pretty full. So all I'm doing is just going around and kind of maneuvering the stuffing in so that he's not too lumpy. A little bit more. Okay. That's probably good enough right there. So that's about how chubby he is. So I'm just, I did leave a little bit um, of the sock left at the top. So you're just going to gather up the end. And you're going to take a rubber band and just secure the top with the rubber band. And I'm wrapping this around three or four times. At this point, if you want to, you can also 
uh, tie a string around it for added security, but that is up to you. So this is how it looks, and he does have a weighted bottom, so he will stand up. Okay, now that we have the body of the gnome, we're going to set that aside. Now you're going to take the other half of the sock that you cut off, and this is what we're going to use to make um, his arms. So all we're going to do is cut down where it is... Um, I don't even know what you want to call this, just where the seam is right here on the side of the sock. So we're going to cut that just right down the seam. That way when it, you open it up like this, and then we are just going to cut down where this seam is right here. So you're just going to cut it in half again. Okay, so that gives you two pieces. So you will have two pieces of the sock. So you're going to take your sock and you're just going to turn it over to where the um, inside of the sock is facing up. And this is where you're going to need some hot glue. So all I'm going to do is you're going to start on the end here on the corner. And you're just kind of rolling this up. And then once you get to a good stopping point, we're just going to add some hot glue along this line right here. And then fold it over to secure it. So... Let me try that again because my sock was kind of uneven. You want to try to keep it as even as possible um, on the outside edge, on the um, outside edge over here. So, just rolling. And I'm adding some hot glue. So there his his little arms. Now you won't see this part right here because this will be up against his body. So you won't see that. So I'll go ahead and do the other one. So you'll start right here, and you're going to roll. Add your hot glue. And then roll it right over on top of that, and just be careful not to burn yourself because the glue is hot. So there's the other one. So now that that is done, let me add a little bit more to secure it some more here. And then I'm going to just trim off any little pieces now that we have his arms, what we're going to do is just attach our arms to the body. And you want to make sure that you do attach the arms where this seam right here, where you can see it. Make sure that this part is against the body so that you cannot tell once the arms are glued on to the body of your gnome. So I'm just going to see where I want to place his little arms. And I think that is probably going to be good. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue. Put that there. Right there. Come over. Do the other. Okay. 
Now I'm not gluing his arms completely down to his body, not the whole way, because I am going to have him come around and hold um, an, a little Easter egg. So now we're going to be doing his hat, and we're just going to use the second sock, and we're going to do it the same way as we did the body, where we are going to cut down um, through the middle of the heel to cut the top part of the sock off. And just set that aside because um, you can use that in another project if you want. So here is his hat. And for mine, I'm going to put some stuffing inside the sock so that my hat uh, will stand up straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to stuff this very full. We're just going to put a little bit of stuffing in it. Um, just kind of enough to give it a little bit of stability so that it doesn't flop over. Not a, not a whole lot. We don't want a stuffed hat. <laughs> so just enough to where um, I can give it a little bit of stability. So now I am just going to roll the end of the sock. Um, just cuff it up a couple of times. like that and then you're going to take the body of your gnome and all you're doing is fitting this over the top so he looks like that and his hat is standing up I don't know if you guys can tell but just like that so now that his hat is on and it is able to stand up on its own, I am just going to go through with my hot glue gun and I'm going to turn him around and I'm just going to start hot gluing the back of the hat onto his body so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to hot glue right here on the side. And then I'm going to turn it around and hot glue the other side down. And I'm not hot gluing this top yet. We're going to leave it for now. Okay, so there is his hat. It should be freestanding. So there we go. Next, what you're going to want to do is... Um, the top of his hat, I think I am going to be adding a pom-pom um, ball at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather a little bit of the top of this sock. I'm just kind of uh, working the stuffing that I have in there, kind of working it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to gather at the top here. And I'm just going to take a rubber band and wrap the rubber band around the top. And this is just to make the hat look a little more pointy. And at this point, you can also add a string just for added security. Um, that's up to you. But so there is the top of that. So now I'm going to be taking one of these pom-poms that I got from the Dollar Tree. And um, I believe I'm going to take the pink one that's in here. I'm going to be using that. So let's open this up. And I'm going to use the, um, the larger size pom-pom that's in there. I'm just going to be using the larger one. And I'm just kind of fluffing it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my pom-pom and I'm going to hot glue it to the tip of his hat, just like that. So I'm going to add some hot glue right here. And then just add his little pom-pom on there. I 
Okay, so there is the gnome with the pom-pom on. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to make my gnome a girl. And so I am going to be giving her some braids. So before we do the nose, we are going to do her hair. Now I am going to be using this yarn that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And um, this is what I already had on hand. So I would have preferred to have a different color, but gray is just fine. So um, all we're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to cut nine strips of the yarn to six inches long. And then uh, you're just going to tie a, I'm sure everyone knows how to braid. If not, um, I, I don't know, there might be some YouTube videos you can watch to teach you. But um, So I'm just taking the nine strips here of the yarn. And I am just going to go ahead and wrap a rubber band around them just to secure them. And I didn't have any smaller rubber bands. This was the smallest ones that I have. So, um, so anyway, you're just going to secure the yarn with the rubber bands. I'm just giving it, I don't know, just enough to secure it really well. Um, so it doesn't come flying out of there. Five or six times I wrapped it around. That's probably good enough right there. So anyway, got the rubber band wrapped around it. So then I'm going to take three pieces. Let's do it on this side. One, two, three. And then three on this side. One, two, three three and then that leaves us with the three in the middle so then I'm just going to um, start braiding my little pieces of yarn so I can make her little uh, pigtails so I go ahead and do this and I'm not braiding this all the way down to the the very bottom I'm going to leave a little bit of her um, hair sticking out of the end so that's probably good right there and then I'm just going to secure the bottom of that with another rubber band now you do kind of want to get them even with um, the other one that you just did and my rubber band is not wanting to not wanting to, to do what it's supposed to. <laughs> okay, anyway, you get the gist. So, just going to secure that. So now I have two little piggy tails here made out of the yarn. Next, I'm going to take the pigtails and I'm just going to be gluing them um, up under her hat so now that I have these I bring this over here and because I haven't hot glued this part yet I can fit her little braids up underneath there so I'm just gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna probably put one right there so I'll go ahead and add some hot glue and you want to put the hot glue on the shorter end. At this point, I'm not securing the hat just yet because I'm not done. So, there is what she looks like with her little braids. Now we're going to move on to the nose. And I am just taking one of these um, table tennis ping pong balls that I got from the Dollar Tree. You get six in a pack. I'm going to be using one of those. And all I did was go in and I gave it 
uh, two coats of a really light pink uh, color paint. Um, you can do this if you want to or you don't have to. There's so many things you could use for the nose, that you, um, wooden balls, styrofoam balls, um, just whatever you can find to use for the nose. So I'm going to be using this. And all I'm going to do is find the place um, where I want to place her gnome or her nose. And right here is probably good. Let me make sure her hat is where I want it. Kind of situated where I want it. Okay, that's probably good enough. But I'm just going to put her nose kind of right here in the center. So, go ahead and add some hot glue there. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do her feet. Um, now this is totally up to you if you want to give her feet or not. You don't have to. Or what I, I have done in previous gnomes that I've made, I've used the wooden uh, heart-shaped ornaments from the Dollar Tree that they were selling around Valentine's Day. I just um, will give them a coat of paint um, and then hot glue these on to the base of my gnome. But today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. And I'm going to be using these baby socks. Now, I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. And you got two pair of socks for a dollar. Um, so I am going to be using these dark pink ones. They're a little bit darker pink um, with the silver polka dots. So this is what's going to be her feet. Now, I already have done one. And this is what um, it will look like when it's done. So to do that, all I'm doing is taking one of the socks and then I am using two tablespoons worth of uh, the bean, the, the beans, the same ones that I use to stuff the gnome with and I'm dropping beans everywhere. But we are just going to add these and this just helps to give a little bit of um, stability for when it sits uh, so that it doesn't topple over so this just kind of weights it down so there's that and then I'm going to do the same thing to the sock as I did with the hat and also the body of the gnome we are just going to be stuffing it and you don't want to stuff it too full just enough to kind of fill out the sock. And I'm not going all the way up to the, um, the ankle part of the sock. I'm just trying to keep it down mainly in where the, the bottoms of your feet, the heel, uh, the top of your feet would be. So something kind of like this and see how it the sock stands up on its own so there's that and then you're going to secure the top of the sock with another rubber band so there you have two little gnome feet and I'm going to be trimming off the top of the socks because we will no longer need this part readjust my um, rubber band because it came undone there Now you can secure um, with a little bit of added security, just tie a string around there if you like. Um, I'm just going to leave mine like that. It's, it's fine for me. Let me fix this rubber band. Pull it down a little bit. And this one. Okay. I'm going to cut the top of this one off. There 
we go. Kind of set that, get that situated. Okay, so now we're going to take the body of our gnome and figure out where you want to place her. And I think I may turn her feet out just a little bit so she looks a little more, I don't know. I think she looks cute that way. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to be hot gluing her feet on. And I'm just going to do one at a time. I may have to scoot her up just a smidge. But she will stay up, sitting up. So before the glue sets up, I'm going to pull it off just a little bit. Pull it off and then re- just readjust her to where I think she's going to sit a little better. So probably like that. So now that I got her where I want her, I'm going to go ahead and add some more hot glue there. And some right there. And then I'm going to turn her around. And back here where this is, if you guys can see it, I don't know. Back here, I want to kind of cover up that part. So I'm just going to set her down there and kind of squish her down so that she attaches through there. Okay, so there is what she looks like with her little feet on. She looks so cute so far. Before I add the trim to her hat, we are going to add these bunny ears. The, these bunny ears are um, just a headband that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to be cutting off the ears um, off of the band part. So uh, make sure you do have some pretty good scissors because it, it can be a little bit difficult, but um, not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and snip off the ears off of the headband. Okay, now I have my ears cut off and all I'm going to do is secure them to the top of my gnome's hat with some hot glue and I'm just going to be putting them pretty close together um, and right about where the brim or this little part of her hat is um, I'm going to be adding them about right there 
So I'm gonna go ahead oops, and squirt some hot glue on there. Try and get them fairly straight. And then I'm going to go in with the other one. Okay, about right there. Now I'm going to let those set up just a little bit. And then, um, as we can see, they're still a little bit floppy here, so I'm going to go behind here and just add some more hot glue. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay, next for the brim of her hat or to kind of decorate the uh, trim of her hat and also to uh, kind of hide the base of these ears, I am just going to be using a piece of uh, this two and a half inch wide wired ribbon. Now you can use anything you want. Um, I'm just going to be using the wired ribbon and I did pick this up from the Dollar Tree in the Easter section. And it is the two and a half inch wide, uh, three yards. And I just cut a strip of this down to 13 inches. Um, I just measured it around her head and cut it to 13 inches. So all I'm going to do is kind of find the, um, center of my ribbon here it doesn't have to be exact but that's where i know that i want to stick my ribbon out that's where the middle is so i'm just going to go ahead and get my ribbon where i want it and that right there looks like it's probably going to be a good spot let me see here That's probably going to work right there. So I'm just going to take my little gnome and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right there. Right there. That's just to kind of secure it for now. And then I'm going to work my way around sort of hot gluing it as I go so I got that side now I'm going to come over to this side Once I get it secure to the back here, um, I can go back through and like and readjust it to how um, I want it to make it look a little bit better. But I just mainly want to get the ribbon secured on there for now. And her hat does keep wanting to fall.
All right. That just kind of secures it for the moment. And then after the hot glue kind of cools off a little bit, I can go back in and um, add some more hot glue maybe up here um, by the ears to secure them a little bit. And then maybe run a little bit across the top of her nose to secure the ribbon. Okay, so now that her glue is set up and I went around and I just glued across the top of her nose here. And then I went around the back side and I kind of tucked up the uh, ribbon and then I hot glued that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take another one of the pom poms and I'm just going to use the smaller one and I'm going to be attaching this to her back side and giving her a little bunny tail. So all I'm going to do is just add some hot glue here. And then find the center and just attach the tail. So there is the back side of her. She's really cute. And then the front. Okay. So now that that is like that, I've got the tail attached, I am going to be using one of these little Easter eggs that I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are the ones that look like little bunny rabbits, which I think are so cute. So I'm going to be gluing this in her hands, making it look like she's holding it. So I am just going to take one of these out. Let me find my scissors. So here is the little Easter egg that looks like a bunny with his little bunny tail, which is so cute, but you won't see that part. <laughs> so I am going to take this and I'm just going to be hot gluing this to her hands. And I'm, all I'm going to do is bring her hands around to the front here. And then I'm going to hot glue it there. And then I'm going to bring her other hand around to the side here and hot glue it there. And then I'm going to be hot gluing it down um, onto her little belly so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I keep her braids out from underneath her arms because I want her braids to come out over her arms. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue on her little hand here. And I'm just going to hold that there. And let that hot glue set up a little bit. And then I'm going to come over to this side and do the same thing on this side. So I can do this without, if I can do it with one hand, I don't know. Okay, a little bit of hot glue. And then I'm just going to attach that right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this set up for a minute. Try to harden it a little bit so that it doesn't come undone. And then I'm just going to find a place where I want it to kind of attach to her belly. We'll do that right there. Now you don't have to glue it to her body if you don't want to. Um, I'm just going to as an added measure to keep it from falling off. But I think right there will work. This is really cute. So... There she is holding her little Easter bunny egg. Okay, so while that is setting up, I am going to move on and I'm going to be adding some little ribbons to her hair. 
and I'm going to use, um, I can't decide if I want to use the one with the plaid to match her hat or if I want to use the one with these little bunny butts <laughs> that are showing I think are really cute. Um, I don't know. I'm probably just going to use the one with the um, different color uh, plaid here so that it matches her hat. So, and this is the um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and it's the uh, 5 8 inch uh, by 3 yards. So, okay, so I just tied them like you would a normal, a normal bow. Now I'm going to hot glue them to her ends of her braids. There. And then one right there. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Part of the ribbon has come undone right there. I'll just cut it off. So cute. Okay. So I think that is probably all that I'm going to be doing with this little gnome. I think she's so cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Um, you can check me out on all my social medias. I have Instagram and Facebook, and I will link those down in the description box below. Also, there will be a list of all the materials that I used. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Make sure you stay tuned till the end, and I will have pictures of what she looks like. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye!